So Friday and Saturday, I went out down to the river, camped out, took the ATV out, and uh, you know, had a little bit of fun. Actually, I uh, kind of messed up the ATV a little bit because I thought it was a jet ski apparently, I guess, and tried to cross the river when it was like five to eight feet deep. So uh, if you do follow me on Twitter, you probably saw the photo of me draining the oil in the ATV that looked like milk because water was mixed in the engine. and all the oil just looked horrible. I mean, I was like draining a gallon of water out of my air box. So it definitely, definitely got underwater. In fact, it kind of went sideways and almost flipped over and floated. But that's not the point. The point of today's video is I need to clean said ATV. And I just happened to buy a device that would help me clean. And again, if you follow me on Twitter, you probably know I've already been down this route, except I bought a smaller one at that point and I promptly returned it because I did not like it. It just was not good enough. And cue this. This is from Lowe's. It's from a brand called Greenworks. It's the same brand as the other one that I bought, except this one is just a little bit bigger. The other one was 1700 PSI. This is 2000 PSI. The first one was like this little bitty box. This one is like this little bitty box, but on a frame, but it puts out more and it's electric. It's not gas. I didn't want a gas. I just wanted something you plug in, you go, it's done. Originally, this is supposed to cost $239, but I got it on sale for like $189 but I think it should do what I need it to do, which is clean my four-wheeler. I hope so. Overall, I mean, it looks bigger. I mean, it really does than the last one I got and it's kind of a full thing. I just have to put it together and try it. It comes with a 25 foot kink resistant hose. <laughs> it's, it's kink resistant. It pushes 1.2 gallons per minute at 2,000 PSI, electric pressure washer. It's got a roll cage design and includes a durable metal wand. And this is supposed to come with multiple tips. I think that was one of the things that I didn't like about the other one is that the smaller one I got didn't have any different tips or at least it only had like two tips or something. But this has like three, I think. I don't know, I gotta take it apart and, and put it together. Okay, so we have the main body here that's attached to this base frame here. On the front, you have the option to add some soap if you have soap, which I don't have. I probably should have got that, but totally forgot. But either way, you can put some soap in there. And over here is the tires that I have to put on like so. Maybe I should mod it and make it to be like a, like a low rider, you know? Maybe some like air shocks. Be like blue, right there, right a little lower. Okay, maybe not, but either way, that's where the tires go. Here is the hose that's gonna go. It's the pressure hose itself that's coming out this end. I think they label it for green, so it's super easy to know what is. No, no, that that goes to the water intake. So never mind. Just kidding. The whole green thing, not a thing. Then we have these. I I don't 
I don't know what these are. I'm going to try to put this whole thing together without looking at the instructions. I mean, if you can't figure it out without instructions, then you can't figure it out. Has two more. I actually had three more, but I took one out. It's the 25 degree one. These are basically just wider angled uh, little spray nozzle head thingies. You got the soap. You got this one's missing, I guess, or maybe it's already on there. Don't know. Um, then a 40 degree angle and the 25 degree or the green tip is what I already put on that. This should have the highest pressure available to get the maximum cleaniness out of the spray head. So get the most from your pressure. Yeah, it's not bad, not bad at all. It's about the same as the other one, except this is actually a little bit bigger. And then in this little bag full of other goodies, we have a turbo. I think that's the turbo tip, the one that's not in the little thing. So this is a turbo tip. I think this like rotates and kind of like a spray thingy. It's, I don't know, I don't like it. This should connect to the tires if I think so. If I think that's right, this probably connects the tires. So I'm gonna hook those up. This has a little little knobby thingy and that goes in the little hole thingy and then like like that's your handle see that yeah look at that that's fancy it's so fancy it's the most fanciest thing up okay and now we have this stuff i don't i don't know i don't know what this goes to but it's kind of shaped weird and looks like there's some screw yeah yeah looks like i need a screwdriver and yeah, I don't know what that's for. Would I be cheating if I looked at the box? Let's see, according to the box, that looks like it's the stuff that goes on the handle area. So, that all goes right here, which I probably could have figured out if I had just looked at it, but I didn't. This should go like right here, like right in these little holes. Should, I'm gonna do this one-handed. So I can get it all on video. I think this should all go in there. Is it going in the hole? No, it's kind of going in the hole. There we go. There we go. There. It's kind of popping out. But hey, you know. Huh. I mean, is it just is it like going here? Like right there? I mean, what in the world is you? I don't even know. I, I just, I literally can't even right now. Wait a minute. I think, I don't know why, but I think that goes right there. Oh, maybe goes right there. Oh, it's to hold the hose. That's what it is. It holds the hose. Look at that. That, oh, I'm so smart. I need a screwdriver. That should be good. And just like that, a power washer was built. From the ground up, completely from scratch, totally molded all these plastics and made everything myself. But this holds the hose. This holds the different tips, which I can put this tip Wait, 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 wait. I can put this tip right there. So that is on there as well. So I think for the most part, I'm ready to go. I just got to connect to hoses.
Okay, now that I have the water running, I vaguely remember somebody saying something about you want to run it without power on to like prime it or whatever. So this is like, this is basic, but this way when you do turn on the, the whole compressor, whatever thingy, it's not running dry. Moment of truth. Okay, so it turns on and now it's waiting for this to be triggered. So it's pumped and ready to go. Let's try this out on this first. Oh, not bad, not bad. It was definitely good to have a power washer because I power washed the crap out of that thing. Holy bananas was it covered in a lot of mud. You know, I won't have to do this a lot, more, probably more than like maybe two, three times max a year. So I think for the job that this is was probably, I, it would have been nicer to have a higher PSI um, pressure washer because you did have to kind of get really close to get some of the thick mud off. If I would have had something like a 3000 PSI, it probably would have gone a lot quicker. I think I've been out here for almost an hour and a half, maybe an hour and 45 minutes. Uh, just power washing not only the four-wheeler, but also afterwards I made a huge mess in the front driveway and I had to go through and power wash all that and move it all out into the street, which I kind of expected just because there was so much mud on my four-wheeler. And when it comes to the whole driveway thing, again, same story. It would have been real nice to have a three, maybe even a 4,000 PSI, you know, a bigger probably gas power uh, pressure washer to get something like a driveway clean when it's caked with very thick mud but it did get the job done. It took a little bit of time, but I was able to get everything cleaned up. So overall it did its job. And the biggest thing I really noticed about that small one that I got, basically the littler brother, the step right underneath this one, the 1700 PSI handheld pressure washer is that that pressure washer would only go five to 10 minutes before losing its it's high pressure. It had very low endurance, basically. It'd go for maybe five minutes at you know full pressure, then it'd slow down, then it'd speed back up. I mean. It was just kind of weird. I have no idea why I did that. I'm not sure if it was overheating or something like that, but really I didn't keep it long enough to troubleshoot it or figure out why. In the end, I'm definitely happy that I upgraded to this bigger model. So in conclusion, I'm happy with my purchase. I'm glad I upgraded to the bigger 2000 PSI pressure washer. You can find this at Lowe's. I'll see if it's available online. If so, I will link in the description down below. Well guys, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, of course, always post them down below. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and have yourself a good day.